Joining me now to discuss it further, Michael Bodden. He's a former New York State Police Chief Forensic Pathologist and a Fox Business contributor. Good evening to you, sir. Um, as Phil laid out there, the big question now is how did Brian Laundry die? The assumption yeah. is that he killed himself, but it is so mysterious that he was underwater, that only his bones are left, that possibly animals, um, you know, tore up the body and there's less evidence. Um, again, the assumption would be he killed himself, but physically, how is that proven? Well, uh, the post-mortem examination uh, will take into account the bones and any soft tissues that are still uh, present, because usually in these situations, not all the soft tissues are uh, taken away by the animal activity, and the soft tissues will be enough to do toxicology, mm -hmm. and the toxicology would uh, show whether or not this was a drug overdose, which is the most common mm -hmm. way under these circumstances that death would occur. If the uh, cause of death is a gunshot wound, a self-inflicted gunshot wound, a gun would have been found at the scene. But a gunshot wound that goes through the skull, goes through bones, the most uh, common way to commit suicide, will leave, uh, leave a definite uh, in-shoot and out-shoot uh, uh, marks at autopsy that would have already been seen, uh, and that is not destroyed by animal activity. So one way or another, they'll determine from the autopsy and the toxicology the cause and manner of death. Uh, as you uh, suggest to point out, the other material that was found, if this is suicide, he may have left a suicide note that explains what he did and uh, what happened to Gabby and uh, what uh, his uh, thoughts were after Gabby and why he uh, acted the way he did. So that's really possible, especially with that waterproof uh, uh, bag that he was carrying that may contain uh, yeah. material that can be read. You would hope that that evidence would be in the journal, right? That would be the easiest way yes. um, for the crime to be sort of pieced together here. It's possible he did. It's possible he didn't. Then I think back to Gabby Petito, and I think to myself, well, it was homicide by strangulation, and everybody was saying his DNA is all right. over her because they were living together. Um, the absence right. of... A third party's DNA is what would be crucial there. What I'm trying to do is connect the dots here. If he killed himself, can uh, authorities still say that he was the person that killed Gabby? Yes, yes, because number one, he's the only suspect who was with her, and his activities afterwards would indicate that she, he knew she was dead. Uh, so there's enough information there for the uh, authorities to say that, uh, to conclude that he was the perpetrator. Uh, if they don't find any evidence, so far they haven't, and it'd be hard to prove that another person uh, was involved. Uh, the, uh, any, he, he may also have a material in, the, in his backpack, mm -hmm. uh, such as the two, the two missing cell phones right. that will contain uh, a lot of information. The uh, authorities have been, you know, very tight-lipped on what they've found, what they haven't found. We are eagerly awaiting um, to have some answers in this case. We appreciate your insight tonight. Thank you, Jackie.